changed. The world has changed. The churches have changed. But Jesus hasn't changed. Amen. Thank God he's still the Savior tonight. He's still the healer tonight. He's still the soon coming back. Amen. The King of kings of the Lord of Lord. And that, that's what we're waiting for. Praise God. If you have your Bibles tonight, turn with me to Psalms 57. Psalms 57, beginning at verse 1. Hallelujah. I tell you, we can learn a lot from the book of Psalms. You begin to study it and compare David, compare Jesus, and compare the Antichrist, you can get a full meaning of, of Jesus, amen, and him crucified. Glory to God, he's coming back as king of kings. David was a, was a symbol of, of, of Jesus, amen. David, the son, the Bible said, the king, David, the son of God, amen, I thank God. Amen. One day we're going to see Jesus. Amen. I'm looking forward to seeing him. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Some people are not looking forward. Amen. There was a song we used to sing. I don't sing it anymore. Wait a little longer, please, Jesus. Yeah. I tell you, we waited longer now, but the more we wait, the more the sinners, amen, the more of our loved ones are getting lost. Right. Amen. Amen. So I tell you, I'm looking for Jesus. I want Jesus to come back. Glory right. to God. Amen. Now, David. In Psalm 57, where David was running, amen, for his life. It was one of the critical times of his life. He had, was being chased by that old jealous and prideful King Saul. Now, David knew that God had anointed him to be king. Yeah. Now, how many know sometimes we got to wait on God? Yeah. Even though God promised him he was going to be king of Israel, now at this time he was uh, in the, hid up in a cave, amen, hid from King Saul, yeah. amen, and it, it was a place that only, if, if God didn't deliver him and save him, nobody could, because he was, he was completely surrendered by, by King Saul and all of his army and everything, but you know what church, I thank God tonight, he never gave up, amen, glory to God. The Bible says in Psalm 57, verse 1, he began to cry out. Now, the church, when we get in a place, we don't know what to do. The best thing to do is cry out to God. Amen. He said, be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me, for my soul trusted in thee. Yea, the shadow of thy way will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpacked. Now, even though he was hid in the cave from the king of the king Saul, he recognized he was still overshadowed Amen, by, the, by Jesus and by the Lord God, amen. So church, it doesn't make no difference where we're at, what kind of place we're in. We are still overshadowed, amen, with the presence of God, amen. And we, we should never forget that, church, because the devil wants you to forget, amen, who God is, how great God is, and he, amen, he overshadows us. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. That's his promise, glory to God. Amen. But the Bible says there, it says that, uh, he said, I said, oh, shall thy ways, and I will make my refuge unto these uh, calamities be overpassed. I will cry unto God, most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. So may God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. My soul is among lies, and I lie even among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongues a sharp sword. Be thou, be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have been a pit before me, and in the midst were up, they are falling themselves. David already seen where they were falling. He made the, they, David said, they made a pit for me. See, when people make a pit for you, you better watch out because you're the one that's going to fall. Amen. David recognized that. So I thank God we got a so, God so good and so merciful and so wonderful that he will take care of us no matter what. Glory to God. And I thank God for that tonight. Glory to God. But it says in, the, in verse uh, 7, 
My heart is fixed. Oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praises. I will wake up. Hey, wake up my glory. Wake up softly and heart. I myself will awake early. I will praise the O Lord among the people. I will sing among these, among the nations. For thy mercy is great unto uh, to the heavens and thy truth unto uh, the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above all the heavens. Let thy glory be above all the earth. I will preach just a little bit tonight. Amen. It doesn't make no difference. Let me make it this time right because I want to get it right. No matter what. No matter what condition that you're in, no matter what situation you're in. Now, David was in a really a perplexed time, a place, and the only hope he had was he was God. Sure, sometimes God will take us or lead us or let us be in a place where we, we may be hopeless or seem hopeless, but God will always make a way. Can I hear an amen? amen. But I want you to know it's in verse 9. Uh, uh, Psalms 91 one, verse 1 verse 4. No, he said in, 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 he, thought he knew he, who he was dwelling with. Even though he was in a shadow, he already said that God had him covered with his way. And you know what church? The Bible said that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This is what he said. I will say of the Lord, he's my refuge and my fortress my God, and in Him He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. What are you trying to say? In all the trouble that David was in, number one, he never lost his faith. Or you listen to what I'm saying tonight, church? We can't lose our faith in God when the situation looks hopeless. They seem like we can say, worry or you, God. But church, God is there. He is faithful. He'll never let us stand. And this is why, amen, that God really delivered David because, number one, he never lost his faith in God. If you begin to read the book of Psalms, even though that David was up and down, he never lost his faith in God. Church, this is something that God will always try us because the Bible said without faith, we cannot please Him. But thank God tonight, church, if we got faith in the middle of things are going, it's easy to have faith in God when everything is going good. Thank you, amen. It's easy to have faith when, amen, when you're, when you're not sick. But when you get in a place that you're sick, that they meant to help us, and only God can move in the situation, then that's where faith has to kick in. Because the doctors can't help you. People can't help you. But God can. God is our deliverer. Glory to God. And we've got to trust in Him. And they was in a situation that He wanted us to see. Glory to God. If you not lose your faith in God, God will always come through. I said God will always come through. Isn't that right, Sister Jimmy? God will always come through if you stay there, keep believing. If the, the symptoms may be there, the situation may be there, everything looks like it's helpless, but when God says He'll make a way, He'll make a way. Amen. I said, God will make a way. Amen. David always made his faith, kept his faith in God because the Bible said, David always encouraged himself in the Lord. As you read those verses tonight, you'll see that David was in a bad situation, but he would always encourage himself in the Lord because he never lost faith in God. And God recognized his faith, and God honored his faith. As we look on, God delivered him, amen, from King Saul. Give the Lord a hand to that, sir. He never lost his faith. He never lost his faith. He said in verse 3, Surely... He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowl and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. See, David knew that God had never let him down. Church, when you're in a situation, and, and the devil likes to get you in a place that he tries to draw your faith away from God, but church, let me tell you something. When David was just a little lad, the Bible says when the Amen, when the lion had come against him, Amen, he overcome the lion. When the bear come against him, he overcome the bear. Why? Because he knew that God was with him and he recognized it wasn't by his strength and by his power, but it was God. 
Church, that's all we got to do when we get in a place when the enemy comes against us, saying, God, I can't do it. I can't defeat him, but I know that you've already defeated him. Give me the strength and give me the power and let my faith be praised, God, that I can come against him. He's a resistance of my faith. I'll give one a hand clap, church. He never gave up his faith from God. Too many church people, they are giving them, they let up on God when the situation yeah. gets back. Don't give up on God when you're, when, you got a, when you're in a place you can't go no worse. And when the enemy's all around you, just stand firm, glory to God, and say, God, I love you, yeah. and I trust you, and I know that you will deliver me. Yeah. Oh, the Lord, hey, and the best way to let God, let the devil know it. Amen. David was a he was a man that loved to say, Amen. But as we go back to verse four, I want to go back to verse four first. He shall cover me with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. Shall thou trust? His truth shall be, shall be the, thy shield and thy love. You got to stand with God's word. When God says he'll do something, he will do something. Amen. And church, when we need the healing, we need to stand upon his word. Amen. When we need a deliverance, we need to stand upon his word. Amen. When we're in the valley, glory to God, he's a lily of the valley, and we need to stand Amen. upon his word. Amen. When we need the help, glory to God, we need to stand upon his word. Because church, his word is a buckler and a shield. He'll bring it to pass, glory to God. But I like what he said in verse... 9 through 11. First thing he says in verse 9, I will say unto thee among the nation. Now church, we can't let the devil and we can't let the situation. That, we'll go back to Psalm 57. Oh. And look at the Psalm 57 verse 9. He said, I will say unto thee among the nation. He wasn't ashamed, amen. In any kind of condition he was in, he was still praised, going to sing praises unto God because he's the one that delivers. He's the one that causes us to be overcomers. He's the one that calls us, amen, him to kill that bear and kill that lion and kill the giant. He'll, God will cause us to kill every giant. But in the meantime, when we're in a situation, let us sing praises unto him, glory to God. I will sing unto thee among the nations. Psalms 57, verse 9 through 11. Verse 10 says, For thy mercy is greater unto the heavens, and the truth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let thy glory be above all the earth. Glory to God. And Psalm 59, verse 16 and 17 says, I will sing of thy power, I will sing out loud thy mercy, in the morning, for thou hast, that word has means you, you've done it so many times, uh, I believe that you're going to do it now. Amen. Praise God. Has never let me down. God has been my defense and my refuge in the day of trouble unto thee. Oh, and oh, oh my strength, what I say for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. Are you listening to what I'm saying, church? He never lost his soul, and he give praises unto God. And when you're in a situation like David was, he was running for his life. He was in a cave, couldn't go no worse, surrendered by the enemy, glory to God. The new church, he said, I will sing praises, I will sing a song. God, <laughs> amen, he never lost his soul. Too many, God's Christian, too many of God's people are losing their soul. We need to have a song on our, on our spirit, on our hearts, glory to God, and we don't praise God, sing praises unto the Lord, glory to God. I know I said before, I, I read a story about a, a little carnival. I guess that's a little bird that sings all the time. They, they got a pretty little song, you know. And this old lady was cleaning. What is it? A yeah. And she was cleaning the, the bird cage out, and, and they said that he got sucked up in the in the uh, vacuum cleaner and this poor little lady I mean she shut that vacuum cleaner off and began to open up and dig in there where that bird was and he was alive but it never sung another song church I'm here to tell you the devil will cause you to never sing a song if you listen to him and if you think that God don't, you don't have faith in God if you've got faith in God in any situation you're in you still can have a song glory to God because he'll give us a song in our heart and we can praise him we just can't give up on God hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah 
See, we ought to realize, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8 and 9, He said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. In other words, I believe, church, Daniel recognized, glory to God, that God had him in a place like that because God had already delivered him and God was always leading him and God led him there for a reason. If you read the, uh, the story of it, it's about Saul and, and David, you recognize that God, they said, they said by some history that uh, Saul, uh, David was hidden in there and God made a spider whip across the cave mouth and he was hidden in there and Saul didn't know that he was there. He went in some of the soldiers and laid down and took him out as they were coming along and cut some of his uh, skirt tail off there, and, and he was going to, his soldier wanted to, to destroy him. He said, this is God's anointing. You don't touch a God's anointing. And, and you know what, church? They would let him live by, by the mercy of God. And then Saul recognized that uh, that uh, David wasn't uh, out to kill him or destroy him, but he recognized by his humble heart that key that David was going to be the king of Israel. I tell you, God knows how to move, church. Yeah. If we just trust in Him and keep our soul, Amen. Amen. But He goes farther than that, church. The Bible says that that He never only lost His soul, but He never lost His praise. <laughs> now, there's a difference in the song and the praise. Okay, the Bible says in the book of Acts, that were, I think it was uh, Paul and Saul, I believe it was, thrown in prison, and they begin to sing, sing songs and praises. They begin to praise God, and the doors came open, glory to God. God will move when we begin to praise Him. I right hear an amen. The church will like those ten lepers. I begin to think about those ten lepers. The Bible said that Jesus had, he had healed all ten lepers. And the Bible says that he sent them on the way back to the priest. But the Bible says the one came back to give him praise. And he said, where are the others? I believe that Jesus is asking today, amen, where are the others? They are praising me. They are glorifying me because I healed them. I saved them. I delivered them. I, I give them joy and peace. I give them all the blessings. But where are the other nine that I've done the same thing? Are you listening? We ought to praise Him, church. The Bible says in Psalm 150, let everything that have praise, amen, let us praise God. Praise Him for what He's done for us. If you ain't got nothing else to pray, praise Him about. Praise Him for what He's done. I praise Him for saving me, my wife, my family, and my children, and you guys. Glory to God. Amen. Woo, glory. But David said in verse 8, 50, uh, Psalm 57, verse 8 and 9, My heart is fast. In other words, my heart is set or new. See, when you've got your heart, Set on God. I mean, it's settled. When you make up your mind, you're going to serve God no matter what. You're going to say and you're going to praise Him. Amen. Because He's the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. And just like the, Hebrew, the three Hebrew children, He said, Whether God heals me or not, I'm still not going to bow down. I'm still going to sing the song of glory, glory to God. And I'm going to sing praises unto Him because He's my deliverer, He's my King, and He saved me from hell's bar. Give the Lord a head clap, sir. Glory to God. My heart is fixed. Oh, God, my heart is fixed. It's set on you. And I will say and give praise unto you. Awake my glory. Awake, son. praise God, my soul through my and, and my heart. I myself will awake early and I will praise thee. We need to continue to praise the Lord. If we get a habit of saying the glory of God and, say, and, and praise Him for all time what He's done, we'll, we'll get in a habit We'll have a relationship with God that when things do go wrong, God will know that you really mean it because He knows our heart and got a song in it and got a praise in it. And church, I believe with all my heart, when we come to church, 
driving down the highway, doing the dishes, pouring the yard, we should have a song of man on our lips and a praise in our hearts. Can I hear that man? We should praise him continually. Praise him for everything that he's done. Church, we will not, as God's people, praise him enough. And church, I believe God sometimes has disappointed us because we don't have a song on our lips and a praise in our heart for what he done for us. Can I hear an amen? Amen. I ain't never want to hear that. I feel this tonight. No matter what, no matter, David still kept his soul. He kept his faith, glory to God. And he, pray, he kept the praise of God. Church, we've got to continue to have faith in God. Amen. When things are not going right, amen, when we have to wait upon the Lord. The Bible says in Job, Job loved God. Job was a man without sin. He was perfect in the eyes of God. I don't care how good you are, how perfect you are, or sick you are. Amen. The devil is always there. Amen. And God will let the devil use us. Amen. Not, not really to test us, but show the devil, amen, that we got a praise in our soul and a song on our lips. And we got faith in God that we won't give up on him, amen. I mean, he thought, God thought, the devil thought that he had Job. But you know what, church? He said, if I lose everything, I come out, I come in naked, I'm going to leave out of this world naked, praise God. I still praise God, glory amen. to God. And he said, do what? He said, praise God, I will come forth as gold. Church, if you're not losing your faith in God, keep that song on your lips and a praise in your heart, you will come forth as gold. Be like David, don't give up no matter what. He said, no matter how I have my faith in you, I will have a song in my lips and I have a praise in my heart because I know, praise God, I'm covered underneath of your wings. Glory to God. Give a Lord a hand clap, sir. Old King Saul, they thought he had it, praise God. I'm going to run him down. I'm going to catch him. And I'm going to destroy him. But God had another, he had another thought about it. God has his ways, not the devil, not man. Glory to God. That's why we need to trust in God. Church, don't let the devil take your faith. Don't let the devil take your soul. And surely don't let him take your praise. And you will come forth. As God, I believe that for all my heart. I mean, God, I believe mean, God's tested every one of us one time or another, and He will still let us be tested to show the devil how much we love Him. Glory to God. We don't love the devil, we love God. We trust God, we honor God, we praise God. And He always make a way for us. Would you stand tonight? I thank God I serve a living God tonight.